Anyone who has ever uh, suffered from back pain knows that it can be debilitating. It turns out, unfortunately, that suffering back pain is not just a thing for those of us who are stuck on Earth. There are many long-duration space station crew members who have complained of back pain during and after their space flights. The good news is there is an experiment now underway that's looking into the cause. My colleague Lori Meggs is at the Marshall Space Flight Center with more on some early results from the intervertebral disc damage investigation. As kids are heading back to school, we start thinking about those heavy backpacks they'll be carrying and how they could hurt their backs. It's much the same for soldiers who have to carry heavy armor and equipment. Well, a similar thing hap happens to astronauts when they return to Earth. They either return with back pain, some even return with back injuries. Dr. Alan Hargens, a professor of orthopedic surgery at the University of California, San Diego, is studying astronauts before and after flight to see why this is happening and what can be done about it to help even us here on Earth. So we're trying to understand what happens to the discs and the other spinal structures that are around uh, the discs to help us understand why astronauts have back pain after flight and also herniation of their discs after flight. It's odd, right? Because there's no, I guess, weight bearing. They're just weightless floating around. What? Yeah, so when they're in space, we think that the spine is very inactive. It's not, not like getting up in the morning, uh, getting out of bed and having to bear weight during the whole uh, part of the day. And then uh, um, it has very little loads on it. So what we're finding, for example, is there's a lot of muscle atrophy around the lumbar spine and also the cervical spine or the neck. So how does this relate to folks on Earth? I'm sure you're just as much interested in, in helping problems on Earth as, as finding out what's going on with the astronauts. So we think this applies to children who go to school with very heavy backpacks. It's like an astronaut coming back from space and suddenly has a big load on their spine. Scott Kelly, back on Mother Earth after 340 days in space. So we are looking at the effect of these high backpack loads that the, uh, the kids have when they go to school and how that affects their spine. And also soldiers who wear heavy body armor and also heavy backpacks, they have a lot of back problems after they have this exposure. What have you found? So. I think the most important things that we have found is that there's a lot of muscle atrophy in the spine, despite the fact that the astronauts are getting heavy exercise, for example, from the advanced resistive exercise uh, device. Right now, there's really no exercises, as far as I know, for the neck muscles. So. The neck muscles are losing even more muscle and they're recovering more slowly after space flight than the lumbar spine. So once you get all of your subjects tested, what do you think will happen? Do you think this is gonna continue that way? Do you think it's, um, it differs from person to person or do you think it, yeah. it, 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 there's a, a definite constant? So what we're finding is, is about half of the astronauts have significant back pain after their sp space flight. So we're trying to develop better countermeasures to maintain the spine in space and then also better rehabilitation methods when they come back to Earth.